Hey guys, my name is Sammy Zabankovic and today I'm going to show you how to start the Bell 206 L4. Now that we finished our exterior pre-flight on the Bell 206 L4, it's time to finish it on the inside of the cockpit. First we have the cabin interior, making sure everything's clean and secure. Next is our fire extinguisher, making sure it's latched and its condition is good. Next is our first aid kit in the back, making sure it's secured. Co-pilot controls secured and properly installed. Everyone's seat belts are secured and all the doors are shut and secure. Next, we have the flight controls, making sure everything is free to move. So with the cyclic, we're gonna go in a nice circle one way, making sure it moves freely, nothing's interfering with it. Then the other way, and then back to center, feels good. Next, our pedals. And lastly, our collective. So all the way up, and then all the way down, nothing's catching, feel good. And the throttle, so open all the way, roll off to that idle release, and now push and close it the rest of the way. We wanna make sure it stops at that idle release. Next on our checklist is our landing lights, making sure they are off, our hydraulic switch on, engine anti-ice off. Next, our radio nav off, altimeter set, free air temperature, so the next generator switch, battery, defog blower, pitot heat, directional gyro, pulled attitude indicator, and our turn indicator off. Our heater turned off, anti-collision lights stays on, instrument lights off, position lights set as desire, off for right now, rotor brake handle all the way up. GPU connected if needed. Now for our battery, when I turn this on, you'll hear a loud RPM signal. Little button underneath to mute it. Now our caution lights, making sure everything lights up. And our TOT test, making sure a little red light illuminates on our TOT. So avionics on. Fuel valve confirm on and that the guard is closed. Boost pumps, so we're gonna check that our light goes out and that we get an increase in fuel pressure. So left one coming in, we get an increase, light goes out, right one, little increase, light goes out. We're gonna pull the left one again, make sure the right can still hold the, pr produce enough pressure. Left boost pump, light comes on, then both in. Fuel quantity, check, make sure we have enough fuel for our flight that we're about to go on. Now we're onto the engine start. So everything's still centered, throttle closed, we're gonna clear the area. Our next step is we're gonna start the timer, wait for it to get to five seconds. At five seconds, I'm gonna push both the starter and the idle release. Idle release just in case I have to abort. Waiting for the N1 to hit 12%, cracking throttle. Now I'm watching TOT. Two spikes, it slows down around 500, then continues to 700. I want to keep it in the yellow, so I'm going to roll on a little more right there. Slowly moving the throttle. Keeping it in the yellow arc. As I'm keeping the TOT in the yellow arc, I'm also watching the N1, waiting for it to get to 58%. Still rolling on. Waiting for 58% N1. Right there, I have 58% off the starter at 50 seconds. Now I'm gonna do two clicks on the idle release. One, two, and then roll back against it. After we let off the starter, we're now gonna wait one minute to turn on our generator. During this one minute, I usually whisk, listen to weather, get the current winds, altimeter. Coming up on our one minute, a minute 50, because I let off the starter at 50 seconds, I'm gonna run, roll up to 70% and one and then flip the generator on. So rolling the throttle up, there's a little bit of a dead area, then it goes 70%, generator on, roll back. Next, I'm gonna turn on attitude indicator, directional gyro turn indicator. Next is our hydraulic check. We're gonna flip the hydraulics off and on, making sure there's no bump. After hydraulics are back on, we're gonna check our gauges, making sure everything is in the green and looking good before we roll up. Everything looks good, so we're gonna start that roll up on the throttle. 
Watching the TOT and keeping the torque below 30% as we roll up. So it is a smooth, slow roll up. So we're gonna start rolling that up. Keeping it below 30. Watching our RPMs now go up, making sure those do not go too high. And we are opening the throttle all the way. Okay, so throttle is full open. I cannot roll it on anymore. Next on the checklist is ELT, making sure there's no indication of a transmission. So we're good there. Flight controls, freedom, everything feels good. So these next few steps we only have to do when it's below five degrees Celsius, and that is checking, turning on engine anti-ice and watching for a climb in TOT, and then turning it back off and watching for the decrease. Next, and then turning on pitot heat, watching for a small rise in the ammeter, and then turning it off for a decrease in the ammeter. After those checks, we're gonna go to the hydraulic system check. So we're gonna turn hydraulics off, do a small X motion, going to be pretty stiff, raise slightly and lower slightly on the collective. Next, hydraulics on, and we're going to get a little bit of a bump that I talked about before. Then we're going to do a small circle, making sure everything's smooth and controlled and feels good. Now that our hydraulics are back on and everything's centered, next, before takeoff, we check, we set our engine anti-ice, pitot heat, light switches, instrument lights, radios all as required or desired. Flight control is still centered and throttle we check that is still full open. Checking our gauges making sure everything is still in the green and our fuel quantity is good. Now we're ready for our takeoff. So we're going to go ahead and put stow our checklist but in between our seats and we're ready for takeoff. Making sure our area is clear, no one is standing or walking up to the helicopter. Okay, so for this pickup, we're going to slowly raise the collective while adding left pedal and a slight aft into the left cyclet input. Keep slightly raising the collective until we get one skid up. And now we're in a safe hover. From here we can move forward to the taxiway and get ready for our takeoff. As we're setting it down, we're going to slowly lower the collective, keeping our pedals lined up. Let the ground surprise us. And a nice, smooth landing. Then lower the collective all the way, adjusting pedals. Now that we're down, pedals neutral, collective all the way down, cyclic centered, we're going to roll off the throttle until it hits the idle release. We're going to mute the RPM, the low RPM sound. We're gonna start our timer, two minutes. Raise the collective a little bit just to stop that hop. We're gonna grab our checklist. And we're on engine shutdown. So we already did collective full downs. We, landing lights are off, reduced to idle. We muted the horn. Now we're gonna do TO2 stabilize for two minutes, kind of two minutes cool down. Battery switch off and on, watching for a decrease and an increase. There's a little decrease, there's the increase. Left boost pump out. Engine anti-icing is off. Directional gyro attitude indicator turn coordinate. So directional gyro attitude turn indicator. EOT check for Inadvertent transmissions. Good there. Then radio navs turn off. We're gonna keep them on so you guys can hear. After the two minutes come up, we're gonna turn our generator off, then push the idle release and roll the throttle off. Coming up on our two minutes. So generator off, idle release, push, roll off. Mute engine out. Making sure TOT is coming down. Now we are waiting for 38% on the rotor. We're gonna apply the brake, lock it all the way down. Uh, 
as the blades start slowing down, we'll slowly release the brake, still keeping pressure on it, and then stopping it just a little off center. Rotor brake all the way up, all other switches off, so we're going to pull right boost pump and our avionics off. Before I turn avionics off, what I'm waiting for to turn the battery off is our N1 to stop spooling. So we're waiting for that to go all the way to zero before I turn the battery off. Battery off. And that is how you start up and shut down a Bell 206 L4. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the startup on the Bell 206 L4. Go ahead and check out our quick stop maneuver video and like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.